748. You can't pass it up. Good Good much. Great Daniel Ferencrog is leaving LAX tonight on his way to Copenhagen, then Paris, then Spain. The total cost of his ticket? It's like 900 something dollars. He's flying Norwegian Air, a newer airline that just began service out of LAX at discounts averaging 40%. It's comfortable and it's less money. Why shouldn't we take advantage of it? We bought the Norwegian flight because it was only $465 to fly nonstop to Copenhagen. Norwegian Air is being called the Walmart of the skies. The lowest fare we found for the end of the month, LAX to Copenhagen, $539 round trip. The closest fare on another airline for the same dates, $924 on Scandinavian Airlines. But now Thank the you. pilots union has asked the U.S. government to stop Norwegian Air from flying to the United States. Critics say their prices are so low because they're violating the Open Skies Treaty signed by over 100 countries. It allows foreign airlines to enter each other's countries if they honor each other's labor, tax and air safety laws. This is an airline that has concocted a scheme to get around uh, labor, tax and regulatory laws. We don't believe that this is legal and we know it was not the intent of the treaty. Norwegian International's headquarters is in Ireland, not Norway, but it doesn't fly there and it has no Norwegian crews. Norwegian Air CEO told the Wall Street Journal, it just seems to me that they're afraid of the competition. We had some other business colleagues who flew over, they paid 15 100 euros back and forth, we paid 500. Do you feel safe flying this airline? Yeah, I feel safe. It's on the new Boeing Dreamliner and I'm excited to fly on that plane.